Hello YouTube. This is my second review for Banggood. They kindly sent me this motion controlled electric screwdriver. And I'm not gonna do a big unboxing video because you can see those already on the net. So since this is open I will put this aside and will show you this beauty. But before that I will show you the other product I did a review on, the soldering stage iron, and uh, I was impressed with this. I am even more impressed with this little guy. The manufacturing, the quality, the, the weight to it, the heft to it, it's just amazing. I'm, I'm baffled. And... Uh, I'm, I'm really baffled. So this is a motion sensitive screwdriver. You push and hold the button here and then it turns in the direction you tilt it and you can adjust the speed to it. So and I will make a firmware upgrade because I think this is 1.7 and there is a new firmware out there which is 1.88 yes so I will show you how to do that but before we go to that I want just to show you what's in the box you have a small picture guide how to use it and I'm sure you can just pause the video to see this or read it in full. English on this side and uh, Chinese on the other side. And you have uh, safety instructions. Which show you how to use it and how to enter DFU mode to upgrade the firmware. And the specs down there. Again, you can pause the video to read it fully. And on the other side, again, it's Chinese. You do get a nice carrying pouch with, their, with the company logo on it. Of course, I'm having trouble again focusing with my phone camera. Uh, as a side note, I did try third party cameras, but none of them will allow you to adjust manual focus on the note edge that I have so this goes in here if you want to carry it and uh, with the screwdriver comes two bits one flathead one Phillips screwdriver and you have here spaces to put six of them in here if you have extras which I do happen to have because the screwdriver uses standard 4mm bits and I do have quite a few of them and they all fit perfectly anyhow what's also included and I just saw it is a little cleaning cloth I would say but it's not it's leather guys it is really leather it's not just uh, some cloth it's leather again they have the nice company logo on here and this is it's just the uh, the detail the attention to detail that I like about this company and I saw that they also make some oscilloscopes and I hope to be able to review those also so anyhow, just because I like Banggood that much now, <laughs> I made a logo of their or uh, app of their logo. Anyhow, let me show you this in action also if you like. Just turn my. This is my OLED track, which I did feature a few times. The one thing I noticed is, and I don't know if it's just with my unit or if it's on all of them like that where did I put the bits 
My desk is so crowded, I'm losing everything here. Where did I put the bits? I'm sorry, I'm just doing this video free-handed, so to speak. I cannot find the bits. You see them anywhere? That's crazy. Anyhow, let me show you with this one, with one of mine, or with a smaller one maybe, to show it even better. Just a second. Okay. I figured the bit would be held in there with a magnet. And uh, if you put it in the right way, it's not really holding anything, so it can drop easily. Well, not with this one because it has some rust on it. But you can see maybe if I put the pin part in first, you hear that? Yes, there is a magnet in there, but it seems like it's pretty deep in there. So I might just get a round small magnet and use it that way. So no big deal. Anyhow, let me show it to you in action real quick. So you, oops, I have to adjust my camera view. Excuse the mess on my desk, it's just too cluttered you push the button and then you turn it in the direction you want to move the screw it has automatic mode and torque modes and you get a nice display of the screw if it's going in or out Okay, so that was it. And uh, you get to the menu by shortly three pass pressing three times on the button. One, two, three. And then you can just adjust the automatic. And to the one of the four torque settings. So now we will attempt to put this in the... DFU mode and upload the new firmware. If I read it correctly and remember it correctly, we we'll wait till it turns off. Yes, it did. Plug it into the computer and then click and hold till it says DFU and it just did. I have to put it the other way around. So it's not upside down. And now I have a screen. That has nothing to do with it. So I can open the folder. And all I have to do is click and drag the hex file to this. And as soon as it changes from hex to ready, RDY, it is upgraded. So now we can unplug it. And let's see what we have. Okay, this menu looks the same. Let me... Okay, now if you click three times, see now we have, oh man, that goes fast. We have also the talk settings that you can do. Uh, this product is also open source, like the soldering iron. And I'm sure there will be upgrades to the software, or better, or better, <laughs> better said, the firmware, and you will be really happy with this product. And like I said, the craftsmanship is just amazing. And I know from another video where somebody else took this apart, and even the inside is really, really manufactured great. So you take it apart by unscrewing this part here and then you can slide the whole assembly out there. And of course I will not do that. 
but I really, really like this company. It's just the small details, which my camera won't show. I'm sorry about that. E-Design. And this is just great. It is a, it is not light. I can say you that, tell you that. And let me just, I don't know if the weight is, if they tell you how much it does weight. I'm getting lost here. Anyhow, let me see. Just measure this real quick with my scale. Okay, it is in grams, and let's put it on here. So it is 108 grams. It's not light, but I rather have something heavy and solid than something light and flimsy. So again, it uses four millimeter standard bits. You press and hold and turn the direction you want to go. And this works in every orientation I did right. You can even tell by the sound of it that it's it's really nice. I wish I can show you real close the the detail. And I kind of like this, you know why? What it reminds me of? <laughs> I do have a... Guys, it is a fidget spinner, okay? It is not something else. It is a fidget spinner. As you can see, it spins, okay? And this is what it reminds me of. It kind of looks like a revolver. So, yes guys, I am into spinners and this one cost me a lot of money. I won't say how much because my wife could be watching this video and kicking my behind that I spent this much money on it. <laughs> it is stainless steel. It comes with brass and silver casings, fake casings. This is just a toy. Okay. Anyhow back to this beauty I really love it and I will make a stand up for it probably out of aluminium which I can just stick it in and have it ready to go whenever I need it and it just I love it guys I love it thank you Banggood for sending me this for review I really 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 appreciate it and I look forward to doing more of these reviews and I hope to get better. So far I only showed my stuff and this is just beautiful. Sorry if I'm blabbering, it's 3.30 in the morning or actually 3.44. I have to wait till it's night time so I can make videos without getting any noise in the background. Anyhow. Thanks for watching. Oh, I want to show you something else. I just got a new mouse because my old one didn't work anymore. And this one is, as you can see, lighted up. And it is really, really a nice mouse. You can, of course, turn the light off, use it without it, or turn it off completely. It is wireless. And you can find this mouse on Banggood too. So if you like it and if you're into Neo Pixel color changing mouses, mice, then feel free to get it. It is, I think it looks just awesome. Where did I put my old one? Yes, my old one is. And it comes in a real box, guys. It's not just bubble wrapped. It comes in a nice box. 
and uh, this was my old guy which worked for oh, almost five years I had this thing and it was a real cheap one too but anyhow uh, this is the mouse and it's not gonna focus of course not anyhow this video is not about the mouse sorry this video is about this guy so anyhow if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below and Banggood will also offer me some good links to put in the description so you can get some nice deals from them thanks for watching and take care YouTube see you later